Spawn AI in custom waves that will search and destroy. All right, back in our mission, where we left off, but this time, instead of just waves that will spawn, we're going to have waves that we can customize. Let's go to the Open Scenario folder, and in our Scenario folder, we have our waves.sqf script that we created in the previous video. What we're going to do in this one is we're basically going to customize the groups of each wave. So we're going to start with this one. We're just going to give this one a space. And we're going to leave everything as is up to this point. For here, we're going to put a bracket and then another bracket. And then inside this bracket here, what we need are class names of soldiers that we want to basically spawn in this group with this wave. So we're going to save this for now and we're going to go back into the editor. Let's say you wanted a wave where the first wave has only pistols and the next wave only has submachine guns or something and the next wave has is like regular soldiers or whatever. You could do whatever you want to do but for the sake of demonstration let's just put down a handful of survivors. We're going to just edit this guy's loadout and give him a pistol. So we'll give him a pistol. Hopefully he has it in his hand. We'll just control C and copy this guy five times. Alright, so now we have our units that we're going to use. What we do now is we just highlight all these, right click one of them, and then you're going to go down to where it says log and then go to where it says log class names to clipboard. Click on that. Nothing's going to happen in game here, so you don't know what happened, but basically what it did is it logs all the class names for each one of these guys. So the class name where it says survivor on the top, the class name is under that word. So let's go back to our script, open scenario folder, and back in our script, what you're going to do now is you have these class names on your clipboard. So we're going to go right here. I'm just going to give a little space. And then you're going to press Control V, which will paste the class names within those two brackets. Now, it's not done yet. What we need to do is we have to set up these class names so that they can be properly read. So what you have to do is you're going to have to put quotes before and after the class name just like that and then you have to separate each class name with a comma. We'll take the next one and basically put it right there add quotes to it quote after then a comma the last one doesn't get a comma so you can just kinda bring that up a little bit and that's the code. Save this as it is and let's go back in the game and test it out. Back in the game we're gonna delete these guys then we're gonna save our mission and play it. Go to radio like we did before in the last video spawn the group and now you're gonna get some survivors which should have pistols on them Move left. but the script is still being called so there's still gonna be a second wave and we didn't we didn't change those guys yet. That's the customized wave. I don't know why they don't have their pistols, but whatever. Let's go back to the editor. Let's go to F2. Let's choose a sniper team. So they both have class names. So we'll just these two are already highlighted. So just right click them. Go down to log log class names to clipboard and then let's go to the open scenario folder and what we'll do here is we go back into this list here and just change the class names so we still have to fix the class names so make sure it's got a quote a comma and then this guy quote it's got a quote in it, don't need a com after that. So let's do wave two. So here, we'll go to the eight and put a left bracket and a right bracket. We'll save that for now. Let's go back into the game and let's grab some new class names. 
Let's choose a recon team. So right click them and go to log, log class name, classes to clipboard. And we'll just delete this for now. And then let's go back to the script and wave two, we're going to paste the class names. I know it's kind of tedious to have to add all the quotes and this and that, but that's just how it works. You know, if you're going to do coding, then you're going to have to learn to take the time to add all this stuff. All right, so that's that wave. Let's go to wave three. So we just go to this eight here, put a left bracket, right bracket, and then in the middle, we're going to save this. We're going to get the class names of another squad. Make a fire team. And since already highlighted, I'm just going to right click, log class names, the clipboard. And then let's go back to the scenario folder. Open scenario folder. Now we're in wave three and we're just going to press control V. All right, so that's that. Let's save that. Let's go down to wave four. Let's make our left bracket and right bracket and then put the cursor in the middle. We'll save that. The next classes, let's make a customized one. So let's choose, let's choose a couple UAV operators. Press control C, V, and right click, log classes to clipboard. And then let's go back into the open scenario folder and then press control V. And then we'll just say our quotes, comma. And then for the last wave, go down to the eight here and just press left bracket and then right bracket and then put your cursor in the middle. We'll save that back in the game one more time. Let's set an officer, range master, and a pilot. So you highlight those, right click, log classes to clipboard. And let's go to Scenario, open Scenario folder, press Control V. And so we have our officer. And there we have it. So now we have five custom waves. All right, so that's saved. Let's go back into the mission and test it out. All right, so as normal, we'll go to the radio, spawn group. And here's our custom first custom group sniper and a spotter wave two should be I forget what wave two is but wave two incoming I think this was the uh, recon team or something and then wave three I think was a recon sentry. Wave four was the uh, UAV team. Yeah, I can see the backpacks. And wave five is our customized team. One's the pilot, one's the officer, and one is the range master. All right, so that was pretty cool. That works well. I'm going to share this script in the description of the video so you can download it and check it out. That's it for that. I hope you guys find this useful. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.